Hey guys, what's up? So look, welcome back to the channel. I am here in Gdansk, Poland, and this is pretty cool. So this is something I wanted to do for a long time. We're gonna restart this channel a little bit and basically restart my web design business. I wanna show you how to get going, no matter what your skill level, with growing a profitable web design business. So what we're gonna do is start showing you a lot of real projects on this channel, real clients, real sales, real deals, real websites. So this is gonna be really, really cool content, I think. When I was first starting, I wish that this is the content that I had, just showing you exactly how to do it step by step, uh, nothing left out and all your questions answered as well. So if you're ready to get going, what we're gonna do in this very first video is I'm gonna show you how to start a profitable web design business. The very first steps to take to get going, get your first client and get that first project finished and then how to use that first project to start getting big profitable deals. So if you're ready to go, let's jump into it. I'm gonna start this lesson straight away. All right, so welcome to this first episode. I'm gonna try to keep it to around five minutes long. I wanna get into the very first thing that you should do when you're restarting a web design business. Now to talk about this whole series before we get into this actual lesson, basically what I'm gonna do is, as I said in the intro, restart my web design business, show you everything, every step of the way that it takes to go from zero with very low or no technical skills up to a point where you're selling projects with a nice profit, you know, around the 10, $20,000 mark. It might sound unbelievable, but if you follow the series, I'll quickly show you how to do it. I'm gonna show you all the different stages and you can ask me any questions that you want down below. And I'm gonna give you real projects, real clients, real deals, so you can follow along with what I'm doing as well. So this very first episode and what I'm gonna cover over the next few videos is my very first project. And I wanna talk about where this project came out of and why I recommend this approach. So a lot of people, when they start their web design business, they think, okay, I wanna make money. What's the best way to make money? Selling a website to a big business. So that's who I should contact first. It makes sense, but where it goes wrong is that business is very unlikely to respond to wanna to work with you at that stage. Now, why is that? It's because you're missing trust. So you could have the right sales approach, you could have the right strategy, you could contact the right business. They have an actual problem that they wanna solve that a website would be perfect for. They might even have all the money ready to go, but they're still unlikely to work with you because they don't trust you. They don't know you. They can't see any work that you've done. They can't see any clients that you've helped. They can't see any real results. So they basically pass on you and they just never respond to your cold email or they never respond to your cold call. Now it's super frustrating, very, very frustrating. You're doing all this work. You're trying to reach out to these businesses. You really wanna do your best to help them. You're willing to you know, do any sort of deal to get your foot in the door with these businesses and you're getting no response. Maybe you've already experienced this. If you're just starting though, you know, definitely avoid this. If you're already doing it, then I'm gonna show you a better approach. What you need to do before you get into prospecting, before you get into sending out a bunch of cold emails, sending out a bunch of cold calls, and I'm gonna actually cover that later in the series. I'll show you the best techniques to do that and other techniques to sell. But before any of that, you need to build trust. This is the very first thing you should be doing in your business is doing certain projects. I'll show you exactly what in just a few seconds, but doing these certain projects that build a ton of trust. When you have a project and a real result for a real client, for a real business, and other businesses can look at that and see, whoa, okay, this is a real project. I see the results they got. I see they actually did something here. Website looks good. You know, they're telling me what that website's doing. I can see it in action. Now they're gonna trust you. Now the cold emailing and the cold calling has a way better chance of success. So very first project, your very first step is to build trust in your web design business. And basically you can do that within a matter of weeks. So how to get started with that process is right now, look at everyone you know, look at your family, your cousins, your friends, your personal connections, any networking groups that you're in, any social groups that you're in, sports clubs, places you go to, businesses you use, you know, restaurants, cafes, gyms, your dentist, your lawyer, your mechanic, uh, the person who mows your grass on a Sunday, I don't know, anything where you know anyone that they just kind of know you. And basically why you're doing that is they somewhat trust you or they trust you a lot. If it's your friend, if it's your cousin, if it's your family member, of course those people trust you. But even if it's like the dentist that you went to once last year, they still trust you a lot more than this big business that you're gonna cold email who's never even heard of you and just gets those emails all the time. So start with the people who trust you either a lot or a little because they're a way better way to get started and you can just see a lot more progress in the short term. Now, these aren't gonna be super profitable jobs. Sometimes they won't even pay whatsoever, but that's not the point. You're not focused on money at this stage. You're focused on building trust. Once you have trust, then you can focus on the profitable deals, but you gotta build trust first and there's just no point doing all that other stuff. If you try and cold email or cold call 
and you don't have a way to trust you, you're just wasting your time. You're gonna send thousands of emails, or you're gonna make thousands of calls, and you're gonna get little or no results. Maybe you'll get a few low paying projects, but it's never gonna pay off for the amount of work that you're doing in the first place. So start with trust, start with people you know, and get creative. You don't have to do this long-term. This isn't a long-term strategy. It's just a strategy to get one or two projects to build trust, and then you switch it up. And I'll show you how to switch it up later in this series. But for now, I'm just focusing on this first stage where you build trust. So let me get into the approach that I'm using, how I'm doing this, and then I'm actually gonna show you over the next few videos all the stages of that first project where I'm just focusing on building trust. So with that in mind, let me talk about my own situation at the moment. I'm based here in Gdansk in Poland. I've been here for over a year. I don't speak Polish. So if I'm starting my web design business in Poland, I'm pretty restricted with who I can reach out to because I don't speak Polish. I don't know a whole lot of people here and the people that I know don't really have a business. It's more kind of social connections. So what would I do in that you know, scenario? What did I do in that scenario? I got creative. I looked at all the businesses that I've been using, that I know, that I've been in over the last year and a half, and I just looked for one person, one person who had a real business with a real problem that a website could help with, that I could make a potential deal with. And the person that I found the most ideal, you know, candidate out of all those people was my boxing coach. I've been doing boxing lessons for the last few weeks, and I've noticed when I signed up to this place that they didn't have a website, and when I talked to him in person about why that is, I found out this interesting story. Basically, before the whole Corona situation, this guy had a massive big gym, lots of group classes. Corona hits, he actually got caught in another country where he couldn't travel for a couple of weeks. And then when he came back, he had to switch up the business. He had to move into a new location, smaller gym, a lot more one-on-one -on -one lessons. And he had to take down the website because it didn't reflect his new business. It reflected his old business, but things had changed. So once that I seen that this guy was an ideal fit for me to help out, I just had a conversation with him. At this stage, you don't need to take it too far with the sales. When you're just getting started with web design and these people already know and trust you, you could take it very, very easy and just have a normal conversation. So one day during boxing lessons, I talked to this guy and I said, hey, I noticed you don't have a website. I actually build websites. He didn't know that at that point. Would you be willing to let me build your website? I'll do a great deal. Now, the deal that I worked for him was that I could use the content for the YouTube channel. The deal that you would work is you would say, hey, I'm starting a new web design business. I need some portfolio pieces. I wanna do some great work to show what I'm capable of. Do you mind if I build you a website? And you could do it for free or you could do it for very cheap in exchange you know, why they see that you're doing it is basically that you're gonna use it as a portfolio piece. A lot of businesses get that. It's a great sales pitch that you could use in the beginning and it makes it very, very easy to get a deal. So that is it for the first episode. I don't want you overthinking this. I don't want you watching a million different videos. This is by far the best step that you can take. Go out there right now, look at who knows you, who already trusts you, make a simple deal and get started. Once you have that deal, check out the next video. I'm gonna show you everything you need to go the whole way through that project and get amazing results in the very first project. The better the results you get in these first projects, the quicker and the easier it is to start selling at a higher price and work your way up to those really profitable deals. So catch me in the next video. I'm gonna sit down with the business owner, this client that I've already gotten. We're gonna have a full conversation, hear about all his business problems, why he would need a website, how the website can help, and just show you that process of how to talk to a business owner, understand what they need, and then start planning out what you're gonna do with the website. So that is it for this first video. Let me know any questions you have below. Let me know what you think of this series down below and other things that you might wanna see as part of this series. If you got value from this, please just share the video. Find someone who's starting web design and just share it, you know, Facebook group, individually, whatever it is. It really supports and helps the channel when you share this content. Hope that you got a ton of value from this. Catch you in the next video very, very soon. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, so that is it for the first episode. Really hope that you enjoyed it. I wanted to add on this a little bit at the end here just to let you know I do have a private coaching program. So I get a lot of questions here on the channel and also privately asking about how to get started with web design, how to get your first clients, how to learn how to sell, how to use those skills to grow other businesses. I have a full coaching program based around all these different things. There's a big course content. There's a private community. Uh, I go live one or two times a week, do these massive big live calls, answer all the questions. We have guest calls and we have other resources as well. So if you're interested, check out the link down below. Let me know what you think. And yeah, catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.